Welcome back. This is the sixth year running for Art Exposed, taking place at the Kamloops, the old Kamloops Courthouse, and kicks off this Friday. Joining us on the show, we have Kathy Sinclair with the Kamloops Arts Council. Welcome back to the show, Kathy. Thank you, Susan. You're welcome. And a couple of the artists that are taking place in this year's Art Exposed event. Uh, we have Natalie Reimer in the middle, photographer, and her dad, PJ Reimer, on the end, mm -hmm. who is a carver. And we have some examples of his work on the coffee table. So thank you for being here, the both of you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. welcome. It's kind of nice to have a father-daughter combination on the show. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about your story. You guys are obviously taking part in this year's event. Natalie, tell me about your work. Yeah. Well, um, I wasn't a photographer for very long. I just started doing it a couple of years ago and went to school for it for about a year. Then I just started chatting with Kathy, and she mentioned, you know, you should enter this. And I was like, ah, oh, I'm not good enough for that. Like, mm -hmm. don't, don't put me in that. And then she's like, no, no. And she gave me a good kick in the pants. And so I decided, yeah, I should actually do something with my work and, and put it in the show. And now we're here. And that's the whole point of Art Exposed, isn't it, Kathy? To have local artists mm -hmm. have their work shown off and seen by the public. And why not get some feedback as to what you're doing? Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. We actually have a team of three jurors who will be offering critiques and feedback. And uh, there will be some prizes awarded but really, it's it's about getting out there. We we do do the gentle kick in the pants. It's a very gentle <laughs> kick. Yes. But uh, we do love to see new artists getting their work out there, sharing it with the mm -hmm. public, and uh, it's just so exciting for us to see that. Natalie, mm -hmm. what kind of photographer are you? Are you landscapes people? How does that go? Um, I'm I'm not really a particular photographer. I like moments, and I don't like capturing like stage moments. I really like raw moments. So the picture that I actually entered is one of. The, my favorite moments that I've ever been through um, and that's why I chose it because it's very significant to me and it, it means a lot it's there's a lot more meaning to it it's a deep meaning mm -hmm. um, and so I like to take pictures that mean something I don't just like a pretty picture yes mm -hmm. excellent uh, PJ thank you for being here as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. these are your carvings on the coffee table and I'm sure Marcel can get a close-up for us of uh, one of them or or mm -hmm. what have you but tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about your story here well, I've been carving for over 20 years. Um, I've taught it in schools, and uh, it's just a hobby, but uh, eventually they all disappear, and I have to make new ones, and <laughs> it's, it's therapeutic, and uh, I enjoy it. I've been in galleries before, and uh, I've done shows here in town over the years, and uh, when Natalie called me and said, let's do this together, I said, okay, that sounds, that sounds like fun. <laughs> so we're looking at a close-up of one of these fairly quickly here. Uh, tell me a little bit about the materials that you like to work with best. Well, that uh, this is just a sunfish. It's uh, BC soapstone on rose quartz. I went through a few, dr few drill bits to get into that quartz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the other ones are, are um, Indian and Brazilian stone. Okay, and we're going to take a quick look at that. Yeah. Where does one go to get Indian and Brazilian stone? You wouldn't just pick that up at Michael's. Right? Uh, no, um, there's a distributor in Surrey. He supplies Western Canada and actually Western United States as well. He brings in uh, large containers from Brazil, which is the main the main stone that the uh, professional carvers use. Fantastic. And yeah. when it comes to this exhibition, do you have several pieces that are on display? Or, or I just have one. Yes. Yeah, is just, it one of these? Or? No, it's a, it's a little orca. It's Brazilian stone. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. So getting back to you, Kathy, uh, you mm -hmm. were just saying to me that you guys have more art that have, has been entered than you anticipated. We do. We actually have 250 pieces by 161 artists all throughout the TNRD. So we've actually engaged some of the art groups this year, Art Zone Sun Peaks, a couple of galleries in Barrier, the uh, Ashcroft Arts Club. So it's truly become a regional exhibition. Um, lead support from TNRD this year as well, which is just fabulous. And uh, we're opening Friday night uh, with an opening reception. We're actually going to have a wine tasting. So uh, pairing local art with local wine, we've got uh, Monte Creek Ranch Winery as well as Harper's Trail. And everyone's welcome to attend that. It's from 5 to 8 p.m. on uh, this Friday. Day. Fantastic. We still have a full three minutes if you guys want it. Okay. Let's talk a little bit more about some of the different uh, artists that will be on. Uh, everything from, from painters and, and photographers to carvers. What else can people expect? There is really a huge diversity and every, every year we're blown away. But uh, a lot of 3D works this year. So mm. some clay sculptures, beautiful teapots. And uh, there's also uh, a lot of paintings. Um, there's, there seems to be a bit of a theme this year with ravens and crows mm -hmm. uh, for some reason and a uh, lot of different uh, yeah a lot of different mediums a lot of different styles of art we've got uh, even costume art some of you may know Amanda Eccleston uh, for her really whimsical pottery and teapots she's actually done a costume this year um, which you can see on a mannequin and uh, it's really a standout piece there's also a surfboard that has been um, 
turned into a table and really beautifully done by Mike Keller uh, with some fantastic paint work. Awesome. We have pictures. I forgot to mention this. So mm. why don't we go th through some of these? Uh, this uh, looks like something That's like a carving. AJ. <laughs> That's you. It's not one of these ones, but it's, yeah, not one on the coffee table. Um, so people are really welcome to come down. Tell me this, everything's for sale or no? You know, most of it is for sale. Not mm -hmm. everything is. Okay. These are just, oh, there's Natalie's picture right oh, there. Oh, is this your picture? Yeah. See, I was wondering, <laughs> let's just hold on this one for a second, if we don't mind, thanks to downstairs. <laughs> you said that this is a moment for you. Can mm. you explain that a little bit? Well, all those people sitting there are my friends, um, and it was the first time that I had ever surfed. And I, it's been on my bucket list forever. And mm -hmm. it's, there's something really uh, nostalgic about completing a bucket list item, like checking that off and going, wow, I actually did that. Um, so that, it, that is part of it. Another part is just, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like I kind of found and left myself there, uh, like in that spot and in that moment. Like the light was crisp. It was in November. It was freezing cold. We were crazy. But where, where, where was it? Uh, this was Tofino. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So beautiful beaches, beautiful area. Um, freezing cold, but we were just like, we're out there all day, and even though we sucked at surfing, it wasn't about that. It was yeah. about the moment, and it was about the people, um, and just like floating in the ocean in November. It was just incredible. All right, that's great. I'm glad we got to hear that story. Um, so lots of stories behind the artwork, Kathy, really. Oh, there really is, and a lot of the artists have included some artist statements. You'll get to read all about the artists themselves with their bios, and you know, it's really about the people and it's the backstories that makes the artwork fascinating. And uh, there's there's really going to be something for everybody. So these are some photos from last year. Um, there's Leslie Bullen. She'll, she's got a couple of pieces in the show this year as well. So a lot of familiar faces. We do have an established artist category for prizes this year as well as emerging. Um, so, you know, we're seeing a lot, just a real breadth and variety of artists' participation this year. And I always have to say the old courthouse is such a fantastic fantastic venue to hold an event like this because it has just so much history there. It's a beautiful uh, environment to, to, ha to have something like this. It's a lot of fun, absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, I think we're just about out of time. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Goodness, um, we've been able to expand into the building right behind the courthouse, thanks to Interior Community Services, who's allowed us to use the space temporarily. So yeah, it's bigger and better than ever. It's just going to be an amazing time. We're open 10 to 5, March 11th to 19th. So so if you can't make it for the opening this Friday, you can come by and check it out any time during the day. All right, fantastic. Thank you for being here today, Kathy. Thank you so much. And a very special thank you to you, Natalie, and mm -hmm. PJ uh, mm -hmm. for being here as well to talk a little bit about uh, your passion for the arts and mm -hmm. why you guys are choosing to get involved in this year's exhibit. So thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, March 11th through 19th is when this is taking place at uh, the old Kamloops Courthouse. If you would like more information, kamloopsarts.ca. There's also a phone number on the screen. We're back in 90 seconds. Stay with us.